Well, hello, my beautiful Scorpio. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your career and money reading for mid-June right through to mid-July 2024. I've already cleansed your space and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about pretending to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings and I will never reach out out to you personally to offer one. Also, I will never ask you for money, e-gifts, or donations. So if anyone masquerading as me asks for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Scorpio, this is your career and money reading. I'm going to get your overarching energy first and then do a Celtic cross just to see what's happening in the sector that you're in. So let us begin. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys. Oh, straight away, we have the star energy. Okay, so this is about feeling appreciated in whatever it is that you do, but also some of you are uh, trying to renew your energy to focus on new ideas. This is a very inspiring time for you. Uh, I definitely see here that you are visualizing the future of what it is that you want and you're calling it into being, but also you're taking action towards whatever goal it is. Uh, I definitely see it will become your reality. But the star energy, some of you, I feel like you've been working above and beyond. And uh, there is an indication here that some of you do need a little bit of rest, but you may feel that there's no time to rest at this moment in time. You've just got to keep on keeping on. Yeah, we got the temperance card there. I feel there has been some level of difficulty or chaotic energy about you recently. Um, now this could be inwards. It could be basically thinking about lots of different ideas in order to change your circumstances. Perhaps you're looking at your options right now. Uh, no, they don't want that. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Green Angels. Can you please guide? They have to pop out, just so you're aware. Um, that's how I shuffle the cards. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Green Angels. Can you please guide? Not unless it's a complete flipper in my hand, uh, but it wasn't. It basically it just dipped out there. So um, your three cards there, um, there's big change here, but I do feel that a lot of you are really looking at whatever it is that you do. And whether you're enjoying it, some of you may feel that you're casting a critical eye over things right now because you're either trying to launch new ideas or you're trying to brainstorm uh, a way of making things more sort of exciting or a little bit more spontaneous in whatever it is that you do. Uh, some of you may feel you've been dealing with a lot of impatient people. It just feels like more, more, more. People want more uh, of your time, of your energy, of your work, productivity, and I feel like it's a lot. Some of you may feel the pressure has been on. It's almost like it's ramped up a pace a little bit for you and you're exhausted. You're doing what you can in the circumstances that you've got and you're kind of like asking the question, are we having fun yet? Because some of you, I feel there's this energy of being really serious. Now, I have to say, I saw the image before I came to your reading and I'm seeing it again. I won't mention it unless it comes in the water whilst I'm doing your reading. I do a little meditation beforehand, uh, 10 minute sort of prep before I tap into your energy. And I saw Saturn, okay, Saturn, uh, the planet, and it's coming up again in the water. Okay, now this could be like a logo that's important for you. So let's uh, be practical about it first. But also, I mean, spiritually, it can indicate that you are someone who is very hardworking, and you are disciplined, you have a lot of responsibility on your shoulders right now, and you are working hard, okay, because Saturn is a very strict energy that basically kind of whips us all into shape and says, come on, come on, keep working, keep working. So some of you may have really felt like you're under it right now. And if you're currently looking for work and you've been out of work for a little while, uh, you may be feeling the pressure there. But with the full card, there is a new opportunity coming in. And I feel like, you know, it may be a little bit different to what you're used to. However, it's a really fun role, something that you can really make your own. And I feel like you utilize your skill set and really like outshine everybody. I really get this sense here that you are being acknowledged for whatever it is that you do. So let's just tap into each card 
as it's come out. Now, this is about you shining your light. You're someone who is naturally very gifted, and I'm not just saying that, this card is actually an indication that people look to you for your skill set. You're someone who is um, desired in your career sector. But you know, sometimes, uh, for example, if you are currently looking for work, it can mean that you know you have such an awesome resume that um, because the job market is very difficult right now, it can be that people are saying that you're overqualified for the role. And basically what they're saying is you're awesome at what you do. However, we're not just gonna pay the budget. We wanna see if you'll lower your standards or you know not value yourself to the point where you just accept what we're offering. But this card tells me you're not accepting what they're offering. I feel like you are uh, basically recognizing your skill set as someone who brings a lot to the table of whatever it is that you do, okay? So if you're currently looking for a role, I definitely see one coming in. Again, it may be different than what you're used to, but it is really awesome role, and I feel you're going to make it your own. You're going to love it, and I feel it's very exciting. You can implement new ideas. You really make it your own, and we'll check in with the money aspect a little bit later, but when you get the star energy, it means there's a brighter future for you to look forward to financially because you're investing in your skill set and you're following your path. Now, for those of you who are an entrepreneur, I feel like, you know, this is a time where you have felt really under pressure, okay, because the temperance card is in the resistance position, so it's like you got it in the reverse. There's been a lot of chaos. There's been a lot of having to uh, deal with issues or perhaps delays or you've been dealing with very sort of chaotic people. You may feel there's been a bit of a disruptive energy, like no matter what you do, things have been going wrong or no matter how hard you try, it seems to be like not enough at this time and some of you just need to take a little bit of a break and just heal and like you're going to have lots of new ideas of how to find solutions to your problems if you are going through that right now. I actually see that there are some really great times ahead and things are going to get infinitely better but I'm just tapping into what you may have been under recently. Um, now for some of you this could be a period where you are taking stock so if you are like an entrepreneur doing your own business, you could be like almost like appraising yourself, you know, recognizing that yes, you're working super hard and you need to give yourself some credit because I feel like you're just really under it and you're just doing you. You never really stop to celebrate. And if you are working in a career, some of you, you may actually have an appraisal in the next coming weeks or months that indicate, you know, a really honest conversation where basically you talk about your responsibilities, your tasks, and how you want to change your working sector for the better. So you may implement new ideas there. But this is a card of achievement. So it indicates that, you know, you are the best at what you do. You really shine in whatever it is that you do because you give 100%, even more if that's possible. For some of you, if you are, um, you know, working in an industry where you can be seen by the public eye, whether that's being famous or whether that's like people noticing your business and being attracted to what you do, this is a prime time for that. Things are going to increase and things are going to get infinitely better. I feel like you're allowing yourself to be seen. I feel like you're going to be appreciated. Now is the time to step into the spotlight and really utilize your skill set, but also be aware that actually you have more power in a situation than you give yourself credit for, okay? Something you're wishing for it's something new it's coming to being and it says here a sign of a peaceful period of healing uh, feeling truly confident in being yourself around other people so if you're going for an interview for example um, and you're looking for new opportunities this is about having confidence in your skill set if you're giving uh, you know a presentation or you're giving a talk to investors for example or you're having an important meeting of some sorts this is about you shining your light and being confident in who you are and what you have to offer because what you offer is second to none okay uh, the star energy indicates you are talented you're super gifted and you're naturally so and you may have acquired skills skills along the way, but ultimately it's that raw talent that you have for whatever it is that you do, you know, that you adapt to your circumstances and you thrive and you will come out on top. So 
I definitely see it's a period of um, making sure that you also implement healthier working structures, erecting healthier boundaries, having really, uh, you know, healthy cutoff points. For example, if you're an entrepreneur, you work for yourself, sometimes you may work overtime because number one, you love what you're doing, you're working for yourself, and you feel that level of responsibility to keep on the treadmill to make it work. So you must have a healthy cutoff period so that you can get some rest. It helps you find new ideas and be more inspired as well. So there is a benefit. Um, now, also uh, with the Temperance card, you know, looking at the star and the Temperance card, I feel after a very chaotic time, you're being appreciated for what you bring to the table of your career, but also I feel like you're being noticed and rewarded in some way. Now, this could be from the universe, but I also feel it's in your immediate circumstances. The temperance card, it's in the resistance position. So, you know, it literally says here, a period of harmony and peace, and it's in the reverse. And this is like a sign of a peaceful period. This is your protagonist energy, which means after a very difficult time where you really felt under pressure, it's coming to an end. Harmony is being restored for you, okay? So I feel like the pace is going to get easier. Uh, things become more manageable in the next coming weeks and months. And uh, taking a balanced approach to resolving conflicts. So if there has been anything that's been, you know, not going your way or not as expected, everything comes back into being, okay? So relax. Um, I feel, you know, this period of being under pressure, it is coming to a more manageable time frame. And I feel that full card, not only are you going to implement new ideas because of it, and I feel some of you have actually been under pressure. It's almost like the universe has been putting that pressure on you to affect change. Because if we are coasting in a certain way, you know, and you don't tend to coast, but um, if you're coasting or something seems a little bit same, same, sometimes the universe will send extra pressure because it's like, it's time to change. And if you start to feel that level of pressure, the only option you have in that circumstance is to adapt and to change. So I feel like, you know, you are a sign of transformation. So you are really good at um, adapting to your circumstances. But with that image of Saturn there, it can indicate that Saturn has been a bit of a hard taskmaster for you recently. And now I feel the pressure is going to be off. However, you're still focused on your goals, still very productive. And I feel... A lot of you are uh, basically being recognized for your skill set and there's reward there. But we will, as I said, go a little bit deeper uh, with the Celtic Cross. Now we do have the full card as your outcome energy. Some of you are currently uh, searching, because the star is to search, of course, for direction. Uh, some of you are searching for new opportunities, perhaps to level up to the next stage of where you want to take your career to. If you're an entrepreneur, this could uh, be that you are being seen and that there are new clients coming your way or new people viewing whatever it is that you do. I mean, for some of you, if you are in the public eye, this could be a new project coming in that you're really going to love. Uh, it could be that you are even launching something yourself because this is a card of launching something. This is a card of potential, so much potential. And this month, it really has it for you. So I feel, you know, there's a lot coming in for you that's really exciting. But also, this is a card that indicates that you're trusting the process and recognizing that as long as you put one foot in front of the other, the universe will support your endeavors. It says here, just have fun for the now and not get too tied down. So if things have been going a little bit awry, remember, relax, what is meant for you will never pass you by. But the full card is, you know, uh, launching something or taking a chance on a new path or even exploring, because this could be a very explorative time. These two cards are like explore ideas that just come to you out of the blue, because they will bring you a level of balance and harmony that is second to none. But also, it will help you uh, either bring in second streams of income, because this card is a card of duality. Some of you may... Uh, be implementing new ideas that you're going to launch that brings in a secondary source of finance. Um, but I feel, you know, the way things are happening for you right now, there's so much potential. And I feel also this is about you enjoying the journey, okay? Um, and having faith that the next step is going to be the right one. So let's get to the Celtic cross for you. Uh, for some of you, this could be a promotion being made available to you. But what I see here is that some of you are actually thinking about um, a new direction, okay? And I want you to be aware that whenever we take a new direction in our lives, it doesn't mean that you failed. 
in the other direction, it means you've come to a level of maturity where you're accepting that actually those things don't excite you anymore or those things are not for you anymore. So you're opening yourself up to a new avenue. And that's uh, really positive because it means you're not like wasting your time in an arena where you feel burnt out or that it's run its course or it just doesn't resonate with you anymore. We all outgrow chapters of our lives. And I feel with that full card, some of you are just looking for a little bit more freedom. So it could be that you're thinking about being nomadic in your career sector, launching your own business, becoming an entrepreneur. Some of you want to stop someone because uh, I feel there may be a person here or a potential of a person who's been micromanaging you and you just want to exert your independence in your career sector. So I feel like you may be approaching your career in a different way. Um, if you're an entrepreneur, this could be like a difficult client, perhaps, that you have had. Um, Six of Pentacles, the universe is sending you a resource. You're being really grateful for what you have right now in your hand, and you're attracting more because of it, okay? So even if you feel there are missing ingredients going on in your life right now, focusing on the positive of all that you do have, you know, the talent that you've got, the skill set that you've got, the abilities you have, uh, I feel like you're attracting a surprise into your life that is financially based or oriented okay we've got the ace of cups you know the love for what you do there is an opportunity available to you uh, some of you may have been disappointed by something uh, we've got the knight of cups we've got the four of pentacles yeah some of you may have uh, experienced a disappointment in your career recently it could be that you went up for an interview and it didn't go well that means that opportunity was not meant for you because there's something better on the horizon for you for some of you it could be that someone promised you uh, a partnership or a deal or a promotion and it didn't materialize, well, something else is coming your way that feels very new. It feels actually out of the blue surprise, whatever that is. But um, it could also be that some of you are actually uh, implementing new ideas, startups, because we've got the full card and we've got the Ace of Cups there. These ideas are going to be very fruitful. It means you're doing something that you love, that you're invested in, and actually there is extra money coming in as well. Um, some of you, especially if you are an entrepreneur, you could be doing two things or more than two things. And it feels like you're trying to um, utilize your time and your energy nurturing these things but you don't want to burn yourself out because uh, I feel like you if you spread yourself thin it could mean that things kind of don't feel as rewarding as they could right uh, you've got a lot of aces here we got queen of swords oh you are serious about your um goals this month if there was ever a card that was like super uh connected to saturn it would be one of these uh the queen of swords is like i'm direct i'm not wasting time i'm organized i'm on it i'm focused and unless it's important i don't need to know about it i'm just going to be focusing on my goals and dreams without any disruption at this time uh we've got the knight of pentacles Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Green Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Scorpio? What do they need to know? Can you please guide them? Five of Pentacles, and we have the Knight of Swords. So some of you are uh, basically changing something that you felt was a loss or something that you were worried about. You're turning it around for the positive. I'm going to go one more. Can you please guide? Um, okay. Uh, we have the Nine of Cups. Everything works out as you wish. So the star energy, the nine of cups, this is a wish fulfilled. This is about you aligning yourself with whatever it is that you have in your mind. You can definitely have it in your hand. And that's your first card. You've got something coming in that you will physically have on the material plane. This is your starting position. So this is an unexpected resource that is going to make you very, very happy coming in for you. Okay. And if you haven't received it right now, this could be news. It could be an opportunity. It could even be like uh, a rebate could be financial oriented it could be that you have a return on your acquisitions or your investments whatever it is it surprises you and it's a result is what I'm being given okay it's really interesting that my voice kind of slowed down there because it's almost like I felt like I don't believe it is this really happening kind of energy uh, it's really happening and it's really positive okay this is the card that indicates the universe is exhibiting a generosity towards you and reminding you that actually the world can be full of pleasant surprises okay so uh, whatever it is it's going to be rewarding I mean there's a big old pentacle there so this can indicate for your generosity of spirit all the effort that you've been putting out there there is payback 
back. There is a payoff happening here as well. Now, on a more grounded energy, the uh, Six of Coins, it can indicate that uh, something from your past that you have been investing in, uh, it can be something that you've been doing for such a long time, is now investing in you, is now uh, helping you reap rewards. Because I'm feeling this energy of something that maybe you did in the past comes back around. I mean, it could be that you are revisiting something that you used to love doing. It could be a career sector. Uh, could even be a hobby or a talent that you have that you feel you've not really tapped into. And it feels very much like... Um, it, it starts to be at the forefront of your mind and you may investigate it a little bit further this month. Um, also, I feel like someone could do you a favor in the month of July in particular. So this could be like a piece of information they bestow upon you or perhaps they point you in the direction of an opportunity or introduce you to someone or something that is going to be critical to uh, your path ahead. It's going to be very beneficial. But also this is about you taking a balanced view of your finances, making sure that, you know, you spend a little bit, but also you save a little bit. You know, of course, we can't avoid spending a little bit. We've got bills to pay, but I feel like you're trying to maintain a plateau. Now, I have to say we do have a five of pentacles here. So this month, and it may be because some of you are going on a, a vacation uh, or some sort of exploration um, type things. We've got a page of wands here, which can indicate that um, you are venturing forward off on a, an adventure and you've got the Six of Swords. So some of you could be really busy tying up loose ends, a busy month before you take a travel or a vacation there. Um, but I feel be measured, you know, don't rush into things. You know, you may miss something or there may be a mistake if you're going too quickly. So just watch out for that. Um, but I see here, some of you, it feels, because you leave on the Five of Pentacles, it can indicate that you spend a little bit more than you expected to this month or in the next coming weeks because you've either got a vacation coming up or you are investing in some sort of course of learning. So I feel, you know, it's not too much, but I feel, you know, you, you've gone from Four Pentacles in the past, so it feels like you're increasing your finances. However, uh, this could be in the form of a bonus or new income or some sort of staircase or incentive, some sort of extra money that you have at the beginning. However, by the end of the time period, it feels like, um, I mean, it feels like you've saved most of it, but I feel like you have, of course, spent some of it and it feels like you've got a little bit less than you had hoped for. So I've got to be honest with you there, but I feel it swings in roundabouts. It's coming back around again for you, okay? So that Six of Pentacles is really exciting because it means, you know, you are uh, being sent a resource by the universe to help you out. And for some of you with that Six of Pentacles, this is second streams of income. So some of you, because this is a card of duality, some of you may actually be offering up a new idea or implementing or launching something this month or in the next six weeks that sees you give your attention to two areas or even maybe more. So I definitely see that it is going to be rewarding for you. We've got the Ace of Cups, so that indicates it's something that you love. But I want you to be aware of the cards that you're getting because this tends to be the hands of the universe offering something towards you. And this is the Ace of Cups, which is an offering from the universe. It tends to be something new coming in, something that is going to um, be very emotionally rewarding where you make an impact. But also, I feel this is about you looking at what you have to offer in your career sector. You do everything with love. You invest your whole heart and soul into everything that you do. So now it is the payoff. So this is an energy that Hold the feeling that all is well and it shall be so. So it's again kind of you being positive in disruptive circumstances and recognizing that this too shall pass and that actually, you know, you're on the right track and things are going to get infinitely better. The star energy indicates there's a brighter future, uh, both in terms of your emotional investment in whatever it is that you do, you're going to feel fulfilled in your role or in the job that you're in, but also in terms of finance. But this Ace of Cups, this is about finding peace of mind, releasing the pressure, doing what you do with love and just recognizing that you know, sometimes we work in very pressurized environments or timelines and we need to manage stress levels just to really remember or take stock of what it is that we love about whatever it is that we do. So definitely an opportunity coming in here. This is a card of abundance, something that perhaps will offer you um, like um, 
a long-standing opportunity to do something that you love and also be paid for it because you have so many pentacles going on here as well. But also I feel with this Ace of Cups, for some of you, you may be investing a lot in your career and you may have felt that other areas of your life have uh, perhaps not flourished so well, like your love life perhaps. So some of you may be trying to find balance and do all things, which I feel, you know, is... Uh, perfect because variety is a spice of life and keeping that level of balance is important because you need to be fulfilled in all areas of your life. Um, but also the Ace of Cups is in the crossing position. Now that means you read it in the reverse as well. So some of you, you may have, as I said, experienced a disappointment or something hasn't gone as expected, but that's about to uh, pick up pace. And I feel there is uh, like you being guided out of difficulty and several opportunities. I feel there's more than one opportunity coming in. I actually feel there's three opportunities, which it's like buses, you know, nothing for a long time, then suddenly everything comes at once and then you have to make a major decision and you are going to make the right decision based on your intuition. So don't uh, sweat that because I definitely see you're in a really positive position there. Um, but what I get here is some of you may be looking at the things that you don't love so much about your day-to-day -day tasks or responsibilities because I feel like you know there's a heaviness here where things have got pretty serious you are feeling really responsible for um, your goals and you are very goal oriented you're going to be very productive but also some of you I'm just getting this energy that um, you are cutting out things that perhaps either waste your time or you feel like you know what there's a better way to do this and some of you may actually return to things that you meant to do but they've been piling up, you've been prioritizing other things, you will return to things that now need your attention. So for some of you, for example, this could be like uh, documents that you put aside to file or, um, you know, just things that perhaps were not critical at the time, but now you feel it's time to get a little bit more organized. Okay. Now we do have the Knight of Cups. Now I cannot ignore the fact that you've got an Ace of Cups and a Knight of Cups. If you're looking for love, there is a strong potential that there is someone who is romantically attracted to you in your industry or in your working environment. Now, whether you uh, sort of mix business with pleasure, that's totally your call. We all have free will. However, I feel it is on the uh, cards right now. Also, some of you, uh, looking at the Queen of Swords, I feel like you're kind of not about it. You enjoy the attention. However, I feel like you're more focused on nurturing your career um, or your opportunities. And I feel there's an energy here with this Knight of Cups of you looking at what you have to offer. And this Knight is, of course, in a, a suit of armor. So I feel like you've had to battle your way to the position that you're in right now because there's been a lot of competition and a lot of difficulty and you may be expecting more of that, but it's opposing a Six of Swords, which means, you know, you've been tested in your career sector and now you've passed the test and things are going to get infinitely easier from here on in, okay? Uh, now, of course, the Knight of Cups is about you following your bliss. You're not really focusing on your money. You're focusing more on what it is that you love about your career or your path right now, what it is you don't love so much. But also you may be feeling that you've put so much energy in, you're reflecting on the money to see if there's reciprocity. Is the effort that you're making reflected in the money that you're making? And if it's not, I feel like either you're doing one of two things. You're readdressing the balance by having an honest, open conversation with your boss. If you're in a, a company, for example, or if you work for yourself, you may be just downsizing or streamlining what it is that you do so that you go, okay, that's the amount of effort that requires that amount of money. And you may utilize your other energy in creating new ideas or setting up new projects that will help generate even more finances and keep you secure. So I see this energy really of you. Really interesting. I just heard what time it is. Hmm. Uh, you know what time it is, is what I'm getting. You know what time it is. Okay, so maybe someone just looked at the clock to see what time it is. I'm not really sure, but I'm being given this energy of you know what time it is. So, um, I mean, when you look at the rose there, roses, they always have to be pruned. So I feel like you're cutting out things that perhaps waste your time or have come to an end, tying up loose ends in projects. Um, this is about nurturing things that yield results is what I'm really picking up on. Okay. And that's across the board. So, um, yeah, I'm seeing a pocket watch right now as well. You know what time it is. Uh, okay. So 
it can be that it's about time that you receive rewards for all the effort that you've been making. Pocket watch can mean that you're not wasting your time. You're actually hitting deadlines and keeping a close eye on time frames so that you stay on top of things. So I'm not really sure how else to decode that energy other than that you are uh, watching the clock in the next coming weeks and making sure that you're super productive, getting stuff done for you and whatever it is that you do in your work, but also trying to kick back, relax, and enjoy the moment and have like a healthy cutoff point so that you can enjoy life, maybe find love. Or if you are in a high level commitment, some of you, you know, love may have been on your mind and now you're getting like super serious about your goals and focusing on the path ahead. Now we do have the Four of Pentacles. It's in the um, past position. This is a promise to yourself to transform your finances because there's a snake there, okay, protecting the finances. So this is about you saving a little bit, but also snakes represent transformation. And it is, of course, a big old box of cash. So some of you are actually, you know, making sure that you implement structures to increase your finances because of course, you're going uh, from a past position of four of pentacles to now a six of pentacles and then, of course, a five of pentacles. So you are aware that money fluctuates, easy come, easy go. It has to go in and out. But that is also the law of attraction, the law of money. What you invest in yourself, it will come back to you. What you invest out, it will come back to you. Same like money, when you invest it out, money is actually an energy also, and it will come back to you. So I feel like this free flowing energy there, but also this is about savings. So some of you are looking at your savings right now, pensions perhaps. Uh, this is a card of creating a financially secure future for you and your family. And also it's about long-term goals. So I feel right now you're really focused on the long-term, your pensions. I mean, some of you may be thinking about retirement age or you are coming to a point where you've come to an end of a working cycle and now you're implementing retirement, for example, and you're looking at your pension pot. Some of you may be worried about that, but I feel like you're really utilizing what you have and it's really going to do you for what you want to do with your retirement. Lots of projects going on there. Um, with the Nine of Cups, I feel like there's an air of fulfillment here. Um, and if you are not, of course, retiring at this time, I feel this is more about you sort of working towards early retirement is what I see here. Um, but also I feel some of you are being really private about either a project or how you earn your money at this time. You may feel there's prying eyes. People want to know what you're up to or want to know your ideas. I feel working hard in silence is really good for you right now because I feel like you're getting a lot more done and um, it means that nobody is going to spin like some jealousy. I'm actually seeing the word jealousy off your way because I see you being very successful. And when you are successful, other people, they start to see you upgrading your life in some way and they feel either they're being left behind or they feel, you know, that they are not capable of reaching the success that you are reaching and they start to envy what you have. But they do not see how much investment you put in your career sector, how hard you work and they're just not capable of taking things to the next level and that's okay but they also don't need to know about it okay also if you have any new ideas or investments or um, inventions I would copyright them you know this is about being safe and secure but also very important this card comes with a cautionary tale it means yes you're working really hard you're focusing on goals and dreams but do not allow life to pass you by this is a card of holding on too tightly to something it's just like a butterfly. You know, if you want a symbol of abundance, let's say the butterfly, it lands on your hand. Abundance will flow to you, okay? But if you want to hold on to it because you don't want it to leave, then you can crush it and you can stop the flow of abundance coming towards you. Allow the butterfly to come. It chooses to come. Allow it to land. But if it flutters away and is being abundant elsewhere, it will always come back. So I feel, you know, it's about letting uh, the process happen and trusting the process. Now we do have the Six of Swords. So for some of you, you may come up against a test, okay? Because this is your potential position. So it could be if you work for a, a boss, for example, it could be that you are tested um, in the next coming weeks. Now, this could be a very simple test. It could be something from IT to test a firewall, for example. They may send like a, a, 
a naughty little link that you shouldn't really click on. And um, they may be testing to see if you're like, hmm, okay, I don't recognize that email address or that link. I'm not going to click on it. It could be like a phishing link type thing. And it may be sent to you and you're tested. I feel you are one of the ones that pass the test. There's not many. I feel curiosity gets the best of a lot of people, but not you. I feel like you see through it. You pass that test. Um, for some of you, if you feel like your boss has been like super hard on you recently and you're getting a little bit grouchy with this, I feel I'm being given this energy of shift perspective. Why are they doing it out of the blue? If it's something they've always done, then of course, you know, hold them to task on their behavior. I feel there is a very diplomatic conversation coming where it clears the air. Let's put it that way um, in like a meeting or an appraisal. But I feel this person is testing you because they see some new opportunities coming in and they want you to elevate. They want to staircase uh, your opportunities here. And there is more money at stake. So they want to make sure that number one, you want the role, but also number two, that you're capable of that role. So there may be some sort of testing time, but again, you pass the test. Now, some of you, you may be in training to get a new qualification or certification. I feel like you've invested a lot of hard work here and you pass with flying colors is what I see. So you will get that qualification or that certification and it helps you open a whole world of opportunity and it brings new um, roles your way that increase your wealth because I feel it puts you in a new pay grade is what I'm seeing there as well. Ultimately, the Six of Swords indicates you've been through a very difficult time. You're exhausted. I definitely see that a lot of you are exhausted on a soul level right now, and you're still pushing on through. And even though there are changing times or turbulent times, I mean, some of you, you may have been made redundant recently, or you lost your job or had to walk away from something that was toxic or just to really value your skill set and look for alternative opportunities. You're being guided towards better times. You're being guided towards better opportunities and have faith. Okay. Uh, for some of you, it could have been that there's merges going on because the temperance card is a blending energy card. It's in the resistance position. So it can mean that either the company that you work for is either breaking away from a partnership or merging with one and there's a lot of disruption okay and it may feel like you're a little bit uncertain or worried about what the future holds but looking at your cards I feel you're going to be just fine okay I feel like there's a lot of opportunities headed your way to make sure that you're on the right path and feeling like you're fulfilling your destiny and um, if there's been a lot of like critical energy going on in the working environment especially if you're an entrepreneur you may have felt like you've been bombarded like Everything you do, sometimes it feels like it's still not enough. Well, I feel like you're coming out of that period right now and things are going to get infinitely more peaceful and more grounded as well. Now, of course, Six of Swords can indicate some of you are taking a vacation and it's a well-earned one. You've worked super hard for this, so enjoy it. I feel like you're switching off, maybe switching off from your phones, your emails, uh, disconnecting from calls. I feel like almost going off grid, this energy where you're just like peace of mind and being at one with nature and you're going to have so much energy when you come back. It's almost like a complete reset, you know, more motivation, more drive, more energy. And you can see that because your next card is the Ace of Wands. Transformation. Sometimes just a break away transforms everything. How you feel about something, how you get clear on something. Sometimes taking the bird's eye view of your life, which is literally what the Queen of Swords is doing right there. It gives you an opportunity to see the bigger picture so that you can compartmentalize the next steps of your plans and goals. Because sometimes when we have a look at our goal, we can feel really overwhelmed. Like, whoa, okay, I want to earn you know so much money I want to run my own company I want to buy a house I want to live off grid I want to you know be successful whatever it is that you want sometimes it can feel like whoa how am I going to get there but when you start to compartmentalize steps and focus on all the things that you can do suddenly you're just doing it it all comes together all those energies blend together things are taking shape and I really feel that that's what's happening for you right now. Things are taking shape and transforming for your highest good. Now, the near future, we have the Ace of Wands. Aces are divinely gifted from the universe. So there's an opportunity coming in here. Uh, this is going to be a quick opportunity that happens. This is about your dreams becoming a reality. And this is about you taking action. I feel like you are going to be on it. You are going to be super busy when you come back from this vacation, if you're taking a vacation, but you're going to really enjoy yourself. You're implementing new ideas. It's almost like this 
spark, this lust for your career has returned. Um, and even if you're not taking a vacation, I feel like easier times are ahead here. You're inspired and things are starting to take shape. Now also, you know, this card, for some reason, it always reminds me of those little ear buddies Okay, um, and I feel like you are listening to your heart, you're listening to new ideas, and I feel like you're listening to uh, this sense of empowerment that you have. It really feels like some of you are starting something new. It could be a new project or a desire to create something, or you have a talent that you haven't really tapped into just yet, but suddenly you're really listening to it, you're really observing it, and you're going to launch it. You know, I feel this is a time of transformation and change. And for some of you, this is the opportunity that you've been waiting for. But there's three. I feel there's three for you to choose from. And of course, you will choose the one that is right for your lifestyle. Some of you may be launching an entrepreneurial ship or you're trying to become more nomadic in your career sector. So you have more freedom, more freedom to roam or more freedom to be independent in some way. And I feel, you know, this is about you being self-sufficient, basically. So some of you could be stepping into a promotion because this is a card of promotion. Um, and I feel, you know, you have clarity of purpose. You know what you need to do. You know what you need to cut out and you are completely um, working your magic in your career career sector. This is a card of being self-sufficient, as I said, super independent. So some of you are launching independent businesses in the next coming weeks or months, or if you have one, I feel it's going to go from strength to strength. And if you have not got one and you're currently thinking of ideas to set one up, I feel like these ideas are going to flow to you and you're going to be super inspired and you're just going to make it happen. Okay. Um, the Queen of Swords is a card of um, basically being very intelligent, being very savvy, understanding what needs to be done. I feel like you're just all about business and things are going to be doing really well for you and you're doing great. I feel even though you've been under pressure, you need to acknowledge that actually you've been doing a really great job, okay? Now, the Queen of Swords can indicate that yes, you're gonna be very productive and there's gonna be a lot of tasks and responsibilities on your shoulders, but you're literally just doing it and it feels great. Um, so this could be like documents, signed, uh, um, important documents are going to be uh, your focus as well. This month is what I'm seeing. Administrative tasks, emails, conversations. I just feel like you are just on top of things. And the external circumstances, we have the Page of Wands. So this is news coming in, something that's going to put a spring in your step. Page of Wands is to explore your options. It's to be bold and daring. It's to dream big because you are capable of making your big bold dreams become a reality. Now, also, this is about you being in the flow of your purpose. Some of you may even be starting afresh or exploring a new path that may be connected or not to what you're doing right now, but it feels very much like you're in the flow of your purpose. So I really get a sense here that you're excited, being a little bit more spontaneous, taking a risk or a calculated risk, because this is something you've been thinking about or analyzing for some time, and it's going to be very rewarding there. So some really great news comes in and you're going to celebrate this and it's everything that you wish for because it feels like something that you've been working hard towards but also wishing for is going to happen for you okay now as you can see this figure is holding a big uh big stock of wheat okay and this represents harvest time so this can indicate that some of you may uh, look at your uh, resources and replant if that makes sense. So it could be that you are investing in a startup business or you're investing in a new idea or you are replanting yourself somewhere where you feel there is better growth opportunities, okay? Ultimately, I feel the next couple of weeks is very explorative for you where, you know, you are uh, reigniting that uh, lust for your career and things start to flourish, and uh, it's better times ahead. We've got the Knight of Pentacles. It's in your hope and a fear position. So this is basically an indication that your hard work is paying off. And some of you, you may be looking at things that are just not working right now, and you don't really want it to be your primary focus. I feel like, you know, you're accepting that perhaps something isn't working and you are focusing on what does work at this time. And anything that's not working, it will have a turnaround. It feels like it will start to flourish again. So that's definitely coming there as well. Uh, Knight of Pentacles, it means some sort of opportunity 
where money is offered, you're very professional at whatever it is that you do, uh, you're determined, you, um, again, are hardworking. As I said, that Saturn image, when I saw it, I was like, because I know I'm a Scorpio as well, and I thought what it means for my life, and I work like hard as well. I don't just do this and I'm just doing other things as well. And it just means more and more and more. And sometimes you just feel like super exhausted. You're like, really? Have I got any more to give right now? And when you do something that you love, finally, you realize actually you have more to give. You know, many years ago, I used to do like three or four jobs and uh, I always had the energy. I don't know how I did it, but needs must at that point. So I actually, you know, basically found things that I enjoyed doing and found a way to work my time around it. And I was busy, really busy and exhausted, but it was good exhausted because it felt like I was making an impact. And I feel that's what's happening for you right now. You're making an impact. Now, of course, the Knight of Coins indicates that your finances are based on careful hard work and you're careful with your finances and you're spending when you need to. So I do see a little bit of resources being spent this month, but I feel it's because you need to. Um, now, also, what am I getting from that? Uh, I'm getting a very strong energy that whatever this news is, it signals either new money or an increase in your finances in some way. It could be a small increase. It feels very small. It doesn't feel like a big win. Uh, it feels like a small kind of like um, increase in whatever it is that you're doing, but it is an increase. So uh, I feel that's quite exciting. Now, we've got the Five of Pentacles. Some of you, I would say, all this rushing energy that's happening, don't burn yourself out to the point where you make yourself unwell. Okay, I definitely feel that. Uh, Five of Pentacles can indicate it's uh, a period where you feel like you've been struggling. Okay, but as you can see, uh, it's like how you frame it. So I feel like you're still trying to be positive even though you've been in difficult circumstances, but also I feel like you're about to break free. Okay, your focus here is to kind of like reframe something that either has stopped growing or hasn't been working for you. And as I said, at the beginning, you're not really focused too much on it. But as you leave July, I feel like you will return your focus to it and you change it. And it actually works out perfectly. So there is a positive spin on something that perhaps has been uh, bothering you or worrying you. It start to pick up pace for you. Uh, also, the Five of Pentacles, I want to pull a card on it because this can indicate that there's an untapped talent here or something that perhaps uh, you are aware of, but you've just not been utilizing. Um, so let me just pull a card there uh, on this Five of Pentacles for you. When you get a Five of Pentacles, and especially when it is to do with money, it can indicate that things are tough right now. But, uh, you know, you are turning things around. There is a corner being turned here, and it may not feel like it, but I feel something that you've been praying for, because the Five of Pentacles normally is to pray for a resource or ask for respite in a difficult circumstance, and I feel like your prayers are being answered. So let me just pull a card on this Five of Pentacles for you. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Scorpio? Uh, we have the Seven of Cups. So you're being sent some options, but also it's really about what you focus on. And Nine of Cups again. I mean, you saw me shuffle the cards. To get that Nine of Cups twice to basically clarify the same thing, it's saying, look, things are going to uh, work out as planned. Don't worry. There's nothing to worry about. You're in a time of change, transition. And, you know, this is about you to refocus on what your desires are, really focus on the visions that you have for your future, because Seven of Cups is to daydream or fantasize about what it is that you want. Sometimes you may be tempted to do things that are not in alignment with uh, your true goals. So you're cutting those things away. I feel like you're like, eradicating procrastination, for example, or if you're feeling stuck or bored in your circumstances, you're not just going to coast with it. You're going to do something about it. And this nine of cups that's showing up twice for you, because that's the star. Remember, there's the star as well. So this means you are completely in alignment with a wish, something that you're working hard towards. You will reach that goal and you will celebrate some form of good news uh, in the next six weeks, okay? Uh, but also I feel like you may branch out in some way in your career as well because the Knight of Swords indicates that you are implementing changes for the future that... Um, are going to be very positive, but also you're responding differently to challenging situations. So you're managing stress levels. I feel like there's some very quick changes happening here. For some of you, there may be a, a very um, abrupt change on something, but it works in your favor. 
So if that means that some people are leaving an industry, making room for new opportunities for you to come up, as it were, I definitely see that happening there. But the Knight of Swords, it feels like, you know, you're standing alone. Some of you may feel that you've been working so hard, you're feeling a little bit isolated or alone. But I really get a sense with the Knight of Swords that there is more to come. You know, you've got a Knight of Pentacles, you've got a Knight of Swords. I feel like there's more to come that is really positive for you. And I feel that you're just being really precise with yourself right now. You're being instinctive. And I feel like you understand about your business and just keep doing what you're doing. You're doing a great job. There is change and it is for the better. But news coming in that kind of indicates that, you know, things are getting better for you or you see some sort of turn of events that are positive. And this is about standing out in your career sector, reflecting on what it is that you want um, and going after that and achieving it because I feel you reach your goal. Now, I want you to be aware that there is a rogue card in this deck. It's there on purpose. So don't be freaking out that, you know, there's a random card there. It is a very unique card. Uh, not everybody will get it, okay? But... I just want you to be aware it's there. So let's get final cards before we close. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Scorpio? What do they need to know? Okay, so we've got the spiral. We've got coins, loving that. We've got a light bulb, which indicates your ideas. And we've got wings there as well. Okay, so let's get to the first one. Coins, money coming in, loving that card. It says, um, wealth, good investments, sales and finance, getting a raise and lucky. Now, for some of you, you wouldn't see this as luck because you work so hard, okay? I gotta be honest with that. But also, I feel, you know, some of you may decide to sell something that you're really good at. It could be something creative. For some of you, it could be that you are um, basically selling your knowledge, putting a course of learning online, for example. Whatever it is, I feel there is a small increase in your finances. Um, we've got light bulb, so lucrative ideas. The card of inspiration was your first card there. So it says uh, new income source. I mentioned that earlier. So that could be a second stream of income or even a new job opportunity that you take. Inspiration, entrepreneur, new job, creative work. So if you're not an entrepreneur already, I definitely see you implementing next steps in order to become one. And it will be very lucrative there as well. But some of you may actually have like um, a duality. What I mean by that, you may do something that is contracted and also do something that's a little bit more nomadic or entrepreneurial on the side until you get to that level of being comfortable with letting go of the contract and just doing you. So uh, some of you may do two things at the same time. Don't spread yourself too thin. We have spiral, okay? Now that really connects to that temperance card in the reverse. It says out of control, climbing the ladder, not out of control going down the ladder, climbing the ladder, upward trend, revisiting a job. I think I said that you may be like revisiting something. Uh, maybe it's a hobby or maybe it's something that you used to love doing a sector, uh, maybe even revisiting aspects of a role that you do already just to pay more attention to it because it was not a priority at this time. Um, and it says promotion and connections. So yes, uh, I definitely see here that I would be a little bit mindful. I see some connections coming in for you. There's someone who is really going to want to help you. Now, this could be that they give you a piece of information or they try to help you with a networking event. I feel like you want to keep it professional. However, this person, they may have romantic leanings. So just watch out for that. Okay, just something to keep uh, an eye on there. And we've got wings. So you're protected and redirected. And it says here, rising above money issues, businesses taking off, profit coming in, spiritual work, life purpose, and mission. So although money is important, I feel like your focus right now is doing something that has an impact that's more in alignment with your life's purpose, where you add value to whatever it is that you're doing, and the money will take care of itself, okay? So I'm just going to go and get a trinket or a rune before we close. Okay, we've only got two rune. So this is um, DNA. So this is really about you uh, basically ascending to your life's purpose. Uh, some of you, this is about the chemistry, that lust for life and that lust for your career and making sure that you are on your track. Uh, I really feel that you'll know when you're on the right path because it's in your bones. It's literally within you that you feel that spark, that connection. 
For some of you, this is formulating new ideas or everything is coming together as it should, okay? I mean, some of you, you may work in uh, some sort of profession where you look at DNA, perhaps, or maybe uh, this is more about your identity and how your identity is strongly connected to your working environment, your reputation, for example, or some of you are building a brand right now and you're thinking about the identity, what it is you want to say about yourself or your product or your service. So I really feel this is a big critical time for you where everything is starting to slot into place there as well and also we have the bow and arrow so very um sort of uh, organized month where you're looking at your targets, you're focused, and you are ready to launch something or you are going to be completely on target and reach your goal. So I feel this month is all about uh, your focus and where you're channeling your energy into. So I'll leave it there. I hope something resonates in that reading for you, my beautiful Scorpio. If it does, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is so important for me too. That little bell is the notification bell just so you're aware. And thank you so much, my beautiful Scorpio, and love and light.